Hi everyone, it's Linnea and it's time for the LDRS Creative Features of the Month. So this month we're all using our favorite holiday products from LDRS Creative and creating a holiday card. I'm going to be showing you two different ways to do dry embossing. So one today and one tomorrow. And neither of these use embossing folders. Today I'm going to be using a regular stencil to do some dry embossing. So I have the brocade stencil. And I'm a firm believer that no matter the stencil design, you can make it appear to be holiday design if you emboss it onto some gold foiled cardstock. So I have a piece of gold foiled cardstock that I've cut down to four and a quarter by five and a half inches. And I have just lined up the portion of the brocade stencil that I want to emboss onto it. Now I am using Spellbinders Platinum 6 to do my embossing. This is my standard die cutting machine. You'll have to look up how to dry emboss a stencil in your particular uh, embossing machine or die cutting machine rather. This is how I'm going to do it in mine. I'm starting with my base and then I have a rubber embossing mat. This is also from Spellbinders. I'm going to make sure that my gold cardstock piece is on top of that rubber embossing mat. So I'm going to shift that mat slightly to the side, lining up my cardstock and my stencil. And then I'm going to be placing the Spellbinders blue embossing plate. This comes with my machine, placing that right on top. Now I also need some sort of shim, and you can use a cardstock shim if you want. But I have some plastic shims, and these are from iCrafter. I have found these plastic shims to be a great help in my craft room because they don't break down and they don't fall apart the way that cardstock would. So I'm going to grab two of them. They come in a three pack. I'm going to grab two and stack them on top of each other and put that right on top of my sandwich. So it's the platform base, the rubber embossing mat, my cardstock, my stencil, the blue embossing plate that comes with the machine, and then you're either going to need a couple pieces of cardstock or I'm using my shims. I'm running that through and I'm going to have a beautiful embossed design. Now I have some leftover pixie spray on the back of my stencil and I knew that when I went into this and I thought maybe I should take that off and then I thought no it's okay. Pressing that pixie spray into the gold cardstock made it really adhere. So if you ever need to really adhere a stencil, um, if you have like a really intricate design, run it through your die cutting machine. It works wonders. Um, I am going to carefully remove my stencil. The pixie spray is not tearing my cardstock whatsoever, but there are some really fine points of this stencil that I want to be sure that I'm not going to ruin my stencil. So I'm just going to peel this off. And once I'm done, I'm going to have a gorgeous embossed design. Now, if you want a little bit of extra uh, dimension here, because I don't have a lot of dimension here, it's definitely embossed, but I could have gone ahead and used my third shim and this design would have been even more embossed. And don't forget that when you're doing dry embossing techniques like this, if you wanted to, you could use the opposite side and have a debossed look. So that is the main feature of my card today. I really wanted to show you how to create that dry embossed look with your stencils. And you can use this technique with any of the stencils in your stash. I'm going to cut up, cut out and layer up the layered poinsettia die set. I cut my flower pieces from red and then I cut enough green pieces for two leaves. And I kept the center white. I cut both of my center pieces from white and I'm just using some tiny dots of liquid adhesive and layering these leaves together. On my poinsettia flower, I did use tiny strips of white foam adhesive so that I could have even more dimension there. I went ahead and laid everything out the way I want it to be and I'm going to start adhering. My sentiment, I didn't want to cover up a lot of that background, so I wanted just a simple sentiment. So I stamped the Christmas Wishes Sentiment Stack, which is that uh, set you see to the left there. I stamped that with watermark emboss ink onto green cardstock and heat embossed with a gold embossing powder and cut that out using the wave sentiment stack die and I have a whole bunch of sentiments ready to go I just picked my favorite and put that right on top this is my finished card it was so easy to create that embossed look with the brocade stencil I hope that this is something that you'll give a try and come back to my YouTube channel tomorrow where I will be using another product to do some dry embossing techniques
on the screen now are two additional videos that I thought you might enjoy. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.